Hello friends, we're doing a quick video on cleaning up some art assets that uh, they were made in Blender and uh, this is for a mobile game uh, so they're going to be low poly and they came with some textures so they each have this, uh, their own texture right now so we're just going to look at some uh, some general uh, ways to combine uh, combine some meshes into one. They're already combined into one mesh, I suppose, uh, but we're going to combine the textures into one texture. Uh, we're going to look at the UVs, um, but also just kind of generally look at, say I get an, an art asset from someone. Um, these these things are usually what, what the modeler would do, um, but a lot of times you're on a team, you're all kind of working together. Um, so I'm just going to, going to, go over just some bits. Um, we're using Unity for our game, so this stuff is going to go into the Unity engine, so I'm just going to show some kind of cleanup. So first of all, we're going to remove uh, any cameras or lights that are within the, uh, within the file that we don't need. Uh, and then this is really important, um, especially for a designer or someone working in the game engine. Uh, is to not have uh, really obscurely named meshes. So um, a lot of times if you have a rigged mesh, uh, you'll even have the rig uh, and the, the mesh geometry named uh, kind of differently. So um, we're just going to name these real quickly, something, give them kind of a more descriptive name. Um, not going to be super like say tall or small mushroom uh, I did notice that these uh, kind of sit together so I'm going to do a mesh combine uh, and then uh, center their pivot uh, and then call that mushroom three and this guy will be the fourth and I think that's good so we'll clear uh, history. So a lot of this stuff is, is, I'm obviously using Maya, but a lot of this stuff is um, equal in Blender. So again, just doing your hierarchy, uh, combining meshes, all that stuff is pretty basic. So that's the first thing, naming, uh, and then um, the origin is also really important. So each mesh, if you, if you are going to combine meshes into one file like this, which does make sense, and it's fine in sending to Unity when you have very uh, closely related or a group of, of meshes like this. Uh, so you do want to have their names be proper, obviously, and then also their origins. So uh, the origin you'll usually want to put exactly like this, right above the bottom of the mesh. So I'm going to do that for each one of these that is that it has not already been done for. So this one needs to get moved a little bit. So in Maya, you just enable this um, origin moving mode by pressing the D key. Uh, and then it will kind of switch the mode. Uh, you'll see the, the mode changes there when you press the D key. And that'll let you move the origin alone. So I'm going to do that for all of these here. And that's obviously for placement in the engine. When we want to, we're not going to use the whole, all of them all at the same time. Uh, and we'll sh I'll show you when we get into Unity uh, why we're setting the origin on all these. Um, all right. So once that's done, the kind of the last thing when it comes to the geometry is to reset these scales and any of the uh, these transformations. So I'm going to freeze transformation on each one of these. And I apologize, I don't know what that would equate to in Blender. Uh, but basically, you, you just want to have um, those cleared because they do translate over to, in Unity, these those objects will We'll have those. So we want to have everything done. And I'm going to clear history on all of these. Okay. So now I'm going to look at the UVs. So each one of these I'm going to go look at the UV. And so most likely they're all going to be uh, within this, this block. I mean, this is standard, right? But we want to get it so that we have all five and that's going to be kind of a challenge if it was four 
it would be a little bit better. But what I did notice here is that two of them have the exact same UVs, right? They're just a different color. So technically we can change that color from within Unity. Uh, so I'm just going to open up that one just to get it out of the way. And I'm just gonna desaturate it within Photoshop here. So I'm gonna desaturate just to remove the color and I'm gonna save it. I think these were PNGs. Yeah, PNG. Just call it a fungus base, oops. All right. And that's nice. Uh, so now I have, uh, I'll, I'll just have four. And the reason that I wanted to have four, obviously it's not going to work for everything. And you know, I only have exactly four. Uh, but what I'm going to do to combine them is to create a single 4K texture. And f like I said, we're, we're doing a mobile game. And some of you might think, well, why you can't have 4K textures in a mobile game? Well, the engine will... Uh, based on your settings in the Unity engine will compress your textures down based on your texture quality settings. So it's really good to have a high, high resolution textures to start out with because the engine will do all of the work. So I'm going to create new guides here at every 2048 vertical. So that's half. And then I'm going to do another one at horizontal 2048. So that's halfway through vertically. And then we're going to make sure that snap is on, which it is. And then I'm going to pull in this guy. And Control T to transform. Oops. And then I'm going to hold Shift. Actually, just not holding Shift will will snap it. And then press Enter to get that guy. And I'm going to pull in all all the other ones here. Ah, uh, that one was okay. So the reason that you do this especially for mobile. Um, many of you might already know this, but within Unity Engine and uh, many game engines, I'm assuming, uh, for mobile specifically, having less separate materials will increase your uh, the performance of your game greatly because the, uh, the processor, if you're running on a phone or a smaller device, it doesn't um, have to change uh, materials. It doesn't have to load in uh, all four of these as different files. Uh, whenever it needs it. So you know that whatever's on screen is being rendered. Uh, and if it's off screen, so if I have a bunch of objects behind the camera that are not being rendered, the engine will load out. It will let go of all that memory uh, in order to just focus on what's, uh, what's on the screen. And then when I turn around, turn the camera around, all of that memory is going to be loaded back in. Uh, and so that, that's what makes you able to have kind of large, large scale worlds and you know uh, no loading screens because everything is just kind of being loaded in and out of memory as needed uh, so that's just the general way that the engines work nowadays and so this is an optimization technique uh, that's called texture atlasing where you're adding in uh, multiple textures into into one main texture that is used as one material and so i'm going to save this as again it's going to be one single 4k I'll just call it Fungus Atlas. And PNG is a good one. Uh, it's it's a lossless format. It does take a little a little while both to export and also to uh, to import into Unity uh, because Unity does do uh, compressing and MIP mapping. So, uh, but it it is a really good uh, general format to use. So now the issue that we're going to have is that each one of these has a uh, UV that is taking up this whole space. So what we're going to want to do is looking at what we just created um, 
and it might be a little bit difficult. Maybe I can zoom out here to look at it. And maybe close the sidebars if I can. All right. Um, okay, so what we've got to do is to position the UVs uh, based on where they are on the atlas. So this one looks like it's the bottom left guy here, and this guy is also the bottom left. So these are the same. I think this, all three of these, okay, so both of these are the same, these two. All three of these are the same. And then this one, this one must be this one. Okay, and then this guy is here, and that would mean this one is up on the right there. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one here. This one needs to go down here. So what I'm going to first just position them relative to each other, and then I'm going to scale them all together. And this is really useful, um, this up here, because you can move them a, a precise amount. So I'm, that's 0.1 by default, but I want to move it exactly one. So I'm going to take that down in one, because that's down here. And then I'm going to look at, I think all of these were the same. So I'm going to select, well, not that one, just these three grab all those shells, and that one wants to be in the bottom left over here. And that means this one is going to go one to the left, and I think that should put me all in the right spot. Select them all, make sure, yep. Okay, so now I want to just uniformly scale them all down so that they fit in the top right one because that's the positive UV space. So I'm going to select all the shells. I already had them there. I'm going to use a scale tool. I'm going to increase or enable this discrete scale and set the step size to 0.25 and that will let me hold and it will just kind of snap scale. And I'm going to go down two, two snaps. Um, so that should give me a one quarter uh, of what my original total size was. I'm going to take this back to point one and then move these up exactly three, four, five each step. And that should give me an exact position, UV positions for all, all of these guys. So I'm going to save this so that I don't lose it. You never know. And I'm using the student version here because I'm a lifetime student. And yeah, so now we should be able to apply to each one of them the same material. So opening up the... Yeah, so they all had different materials. So I'm going to just select them all and apply just fungus mat one. And I'm gonna delete delete these other ones because I only want to have one material going over to Unity. And so on that material, I'm going to add my combined Atlas texture, and that should give me, everybody should look the right way, the way that they were supposed to. So this is the first time I'm looking at the textures, so uh, for some reason that doesn't look quite right to me. Maybe this is supposed to be up here. Yeah. 
then I wonder, then this one must need to be down here. Okay. So I'll just move one, grab the shells here. And then I think all of these, I guess I'll just do it by shell. Grab those shells. Move those up. So those looked pretty similar to me at the time, but now they look a lot better. So I suppose now that these will get a diffuse color. So that that's what my plan is. Uh, for those is to that this will since it's gray it'll get a diffuse color uh, assuming that they were all supposed to be uh, the same the same kind of color so let's get into unity and see what these are going to look like um, when it comes to importing them into unity uh, as one one combined material so I'm going to go ahead and group all of these get rid of my history Oh, yeah, we wanted to combine these, I remember. This was four. So I think it's good to have, uh, have them combined. And press Control G. And then free, uh, center, center my pivot. Uh, that's not super important, but each one of them should still have its origins, uh, but that allows us to have a single object that we can export into Unity. So I'm going to save again, and then I'm going to send to Unity selection, and I'll select my project, so environmental scenes I can find it I'll just put it there and then I just need to import my atlas copy this guy and put that same folder. Alright, so now Unity will import everything. So this is just a basic scene. So we've got, looks like they came in pretty well. And I think it probably put the material into here. Yep. So we have our Atlas material. That's cool. Yeah, so now if you wanted to place just a single one, uh, you, you would pull in one. And I like to make prefabs because uh, when they come in packs like this, that's, that's a good way to keep them, keep them separate. Um, so I might create something like a, a models folder. And, and then just take each one out. And that'll allow you to work with them separately. Right? So you really have one mesh coming into the engine, one mesh that's loaded. Uh, which is another thing that I've heard about the Unity engine, is that having a uh, single mesh loaded by, you know, this is one group of vertices that are being pulled in, uh, so it doesn't have to load another mesh file into memory for each one of these separate. So there are assets on the asset store, one of them is Mesh Baker, and it's a, a great asset that does all of this kind of automatically for you. It combines, you can select a bunch of meshes in your scene or probably in your, in your project, and it will combine them into a file like this. 
and it will do the, all of the UV uh, atlas generating work that we just did. It will do it automatically. And I, would def I haven't tried that tool, but um, I would definitely recommend that if you have, uh, if you're trying to have a, a quick turnaround. It's, I don't think it's cheap, um, but again, it's called Mesh Baker. Uh, and they, they have a, a couple different versions uh, that have, um, have an LOD baker too for making levels of detail. But that is pretty much it when it comes to that. So we've, we've cleaned these up um, and we combined them all into to one material uh, for use uh, in the game. You can even use these as uh, detail meshes um, on the terrain uh, to paint your terrain. Uh, yeah, so I suppose now that I've realized that this one I was assuming we can have different colors, that's not going to work because we have a one material, right? So I uh, should have really thought about that before. I mean, usually if you have a, a, ga a game where you really can have something like this, obviously this isn't for a uh, mobile game, uh, but the material thing isn't a big deal. Uh, you could have uh, just change the diffuse color for uh, for that. But if we were to do that on here, then that would obviously change all of our all of our mushrooms at the same time. But you get the idea. It's kind of a cool, uh, just kind of quick, basic video on uh, cleaning up meshes, combining them, and uh, modifying the UVs. Thanks.